everyone, when sine of theta plus cosine of theta equals one half, we're going to find the value of tan of theta plus cotan of theta. The first thing we're going to do is look at this one and square both sides. We're going to take our sine of theta plus cosine of theta equals one half and then just square both sides. So using this formula here, and I'm going to uh, flip these two around, I'm going to get sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta plus two sine of theta cosine of theta equals one divided by four. All right, this equals one. So now I have two sine of theta cosine of theta equals one divided by four minus one. Then you divide both sides by two. So we're going to get sine of theta cosine of theta equals, now this is negative three fourths and divide it by two. So sine of theta times cosine of theta is negative three divided by eight. And we're going to use this information to find this. So let's find that value. Now for that, uh, let's break it up. So we have for tangent, we have uh, this equals sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. And then for cotangent, that's going to be cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. All right, getting your common denominator. Common denominator is going to be cosine of theta times sine of theta. So we're going to have to uh, multiply here sine squared of theta <coughs> plus cosine squared of theta, excuse me. All right, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta is one according to our Pythagorean identities. And then we have cosine of theta times sine of theta. All right, now, like I said, we already gonna use that. We already know that cosine of theta times sine of theta equals uh, negative three eighths. So basically this is gonna be one divided by negative three eighths, which equals uh, eight divided by three negative. It's gonna be negative. So let me make this a little better. So this equals negative uh, eight thirds. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.